Loftus and Palmer created an investigation to see whether changing a word in a question could cause a biased response. To do this, they asked a group of university students to watch a video of a car accident. They then asked them to predict the speed of the cars. However, they phrased the question differently for different groups. They asked some students how fast were the cars going when they bumped. For others, they used the word contacted. For some, the word smashed and various other verbs. They found that participants that were asked using the word smashed, on average, estimated a higher speed than those who were asked using other verbs. Those who were asked using the word contacted estimated the lowest speed. Loftus and Palmer concluded that the word used in the question had caused bias in the student's perception and recollection of the incident. One explanation for this is the idea of schema. Students use their schema to answer the question. Therefore, it could be assumed that the information associated with the word smashed is more serious than the information associated with the word contacted. The main strength of this study is that it was done in lab conditions, which means that all participants saw the incident from the same angle and distance, so these didn't influence their perception. However, this could also be a weakness, because in reality, people experience things from different perspectives, so it's difficult to generalise these results to real scenarios. Another weakness is that Loftus and Palmer used university students who had limited experience of driving, so it could be argued that they did not have the experience to accurately predict the speed of the car in the first place. This would mean the question would have more impact on them than other participants who might be able to do the task more accurately.